Hi there, I'm Marie. Today, I want to show you a quick way to grow your own soybean sprouts. Soybean sprouts are rich in protein, carbohydrates, and other natural minerals. They also provide an excellent source of dietary fiber. They're delicious in stir-fry or in soup. It takes only four days to turn these dry beans into a nutritious and delicious vegetable. You need to start with good quality soybeans. I got this from an Asian market. It works best if you use beans that are just for sprouting. They do cost more though. The amount of beans you use depends on the size of your planting tray. I'm using 100 grams, which is about half a cup. It's important to start with clean beans. So rinse them a few times or until the water is clear. Then soak them for 4 to 6 hours. After soaking, but before draining off the water, add 1 tablespoon of white vinegar to the water and leave for 10 minutes. The vinegar sanitizes the beans. It also helps prevent mold from forming during the process. I'm doing it as a preventive measure and it's optional, but I recommend it. Now rinse the beans a couple of times. You need a pair of trays, the top one with holes for drainage and the bottom one to catch the drain liquid. Use anything you have from your kitchen. The shapes and sizes don't matter. Line the top tray with a piece of burlap. You can also use cheesecloth or even paper towels. The lining retains water so the beans don't dry out too quickly. Spread the beans on the tray as evenly as you can and don't overlap them. Too much overcrowding is one of the reasons for sprouts not growing straight. Shield them from light. Without light, their color will stay pale and they will make sweeter sprouts. I put my cover right side up because I'm going to put weight on the beans. This is a two pound brick. You can use any heavy object from your kitchen. The weight forces them to stay down so they'll root downwards and grow straighter. Keep the tray in a dark, cool place. Be sure to water the beans twice a day once in the morning and once in the evening. This is 24 hours later. Let's do a quick peek inside. We don't want to expose them to lights this soon, so I'm not turning on any bright lights for this. You can see they have germinated. They look healthy and should do well for the next three days. After the third day, remove the weight and turn the cover upside down so the sprouts have room to relax. If your tray has a gap or opening such as this, cover them with a dark, breathable cloth. Let them continue to grow for one more day. Okay, this is the end of day four. Let's open them up. Mmm, they are quite plump and straight. Let me show you their roots. They are just as long as the stem of each sprout. They are at their optimum taste when they are about two and a half inches tall and the color is still blonde. If they are exposed to light, they will slowly turn green. That was why it's important to cover them during the entire process. To harvest, simply pull the sprouts off the burlap a handful at a time. The root is just as nutritious as the rest of the sprout and is perfectly fine to eat. But if you like to remove them, they can quickly be trimmed off. Rinse the sprouts a couple of times before using them in your recipes. The seed coats will sink to the bottom after taking on water. So, just shape them a little and they'll separate easily. Mm. 
Thank you for watching. If you found my video helpful, remember to subscribe for more future fun videos. Bye for now.